Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. We're underway. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness. Header! It's come back out! He's been off try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. be more accurate Winks tries lifting and the shot it's in it's hardly a surprise is it that's what we're here for a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times yet yet another example Tottenham Hotspur are looking strong on the break winning the ball in midfield is one thing but it's the clever use of counter attacking that's the real highlight So, a breakthrough already. Right towards the front then. Lo Celso. And it's Zaha. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Raspilicueta. Back into the middle. Conte. Managed to get it away. And here's Azar. Deflected behind for a corner kick. straight through to the keeper. Is there any support? He might not need it. He's had a go! Just whacks it away. 
looking to get within range. I think that's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. Deftly done. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. one way to annoy his teammates Conte Azar Rice forward it goes A corner it is then into the area Loris deals with it effortlessly that's our winks he ran himself into trouble there free kick given away Was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage? It's Hyper. Thiago Silva. That's art. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Saha. Just brushed off the ball there. And the counter is on. Lo Celso. Chilwell takes the long option. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And it's the goalkeepers for claim. And we hit half time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Chelsea don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Loris sends that a long way. Kane tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. That's art. Has a hit! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Ricky Lon. He's cut it out. And out to safety. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. 
That is Conte. Goes for goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Chelsea are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Azar. And it's Chilwell. Azar. Has a pop! Lo Celso can get it clear. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Werner. Hazard. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Lo Celso. And here's Kane. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And here's the chance to counter. Werner. Hazard. Raspilicueta. It's come through. Werner shoots! It's in! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Good ball, it's found its target. And that has been clubbed away. Chelsea showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. He can get that clear. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. He's good for it! And somehow he managed to miss it. Or well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. So here comes the substitution. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. For a throw. Hazard. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Winks drives it forward. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Hoists it forward. And it's Thiago Silva. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Keeper sends it forward. And that's it. Well, nobody is totally satisfied, but it was a, a more than decent game, a super watch, and it ends in a draw. How do you look back on the game then, Jim?